The story of Igonke dates back to the 17th century when its founders settled at Ikbale. Igonke Keta Olawai. I beat our Baba Coco Dorothy. One paper, you should agree. If I do a cruel bed, you want to see cruel bed. You are going to see. I better not be ego care, Pale. You are okay, I love me. He said, You are okay. But why are you? I could do what you know me be. Said, You be good. If you were in by it, you were all you are feeling. I just got to be a if you try to do it, you know. Do you want to know? Titi, 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 titi. What we did? One day, yeah. One master, there will be me. But you are one house or die. If you are one house or die, yeah. Pick a jacob of pile, a man, no. It's too much. But intertribal wars and perennial flooding did not make Ikbale conducive. The original settlers moved to Igonki. Igonki is in Ikosi Ejiri Local Council Development Area, which according to residents has an estimated population of about 5,000 inhabitants, mostly farmers of plantain, cassava and kola nut. <laughs> It is the joy of every farmer to get his farm produce and immediate off taker. But that was not the case in this community, prior to Governor Akumi Ambade's administration in Lagos State. Good roads to transport their farm produce was one of the issues the community had to contend with until its leaders came together for a common goal. The road is very important to a, play, uh, a rural area. If there's no road, as you come in, you see how people, many people have said a lot. Even uh, through uh, the contribution of our people here, there was a day somebody just, one person, tried to cut a road from a junction you enter here to Igonke here with his own purse, with his own money. Because when you see that the road is very bushes and everybody, even when you are coming in with Okada, you will see that the grass covers your face. The goal was to put aside the decrepit condition of the infrastructure and provide so-called for community members. We spent a lot of money on the roads on the grading of the roads. The roads all in is about 6.8 kilometers. There are three roads that lead to the community, right? And we grade this road twice in a year. You know what it means. And you know we are very small. So we have to tax ourselves to make sure the road is there. The main occupation of our people here is farming. How do we take out the product if the roads are not there? So that is why we have to do that. The water too, we are the one that is maintaining the water. Three, apart from that, the, the, the light. Once there is no light, we have to make sure we go if there is any obstruction. Maybe the, the, there is a tree that fell on the, on the wire, whatever. We assist the NEPA. With strength in unity, the people of Igake CDA provide solution to the road challenge. They cleared and great the road that used to be bushy for easy movement of motorists and pedestrians. This creates a new lease of life to farmers whose only means of livelihood depends on the proceed from farm produce. We only try our effort to make sure the community move forward. Even by the time we are doing the grading, uh, mostly uh, our uh, youth we are always stand to make sure that uh, we try our project with the people that uh, we, are, we are using the grader to grade our road. The road is okay for us to mobilize our food we are producing in the community. 
The renovation of the community hall is another landmark achievement of the executive members of the Igonki CDA. The hall, which was built a few years ago, cannot cope with the reality of time, hence its renovation. This town hall was constructed about uh, 1996 to be precise. As you can see now, it was iron roof before, but now we are using the, yes, the, uh, the other roof. Then we have to change the asbestos under it. We have to electrify it. Then we have to repaint so that it meets the standard requirement of the present day. While they wait for more development from the government, Igonke Indigenes spoke to us on the importance of the community hall. When we are going to hold a meeting for the community, it is there we have to accommodate ourselves to do a meeting with Bale or any other visitors that come. As you come here, you know, you know it is that place you enter first to discuss what is going on in our community. The community members also want corporate organizations to partner with it on their social corporate responsibilities program. As you can see, the people frying Gary now is part of the empowerment because they are close to the local government. That's, and even the people that is buying cola nut, they are also part of the empowerment program. The plantation you see is part of the empowerment they give them, but we want government to do more. I will firstly thank uh, His Excellency Governor King Mambodi for his uh, laudable uh, project that he embarked upon since he assumed office. Um, this major road from Igonke here to um, Ijebu Ode, new road, Itoikin Road. We want 2.3 kilometers. We want the road to be third. That is our major problem in this community. 